when we talk about climate change and when we talk about forestry, I think there is a very close relationship. We need to eco restore our forest areas and focus not only on timber or NDFPs. We need to focus on the ecosystem services which are being provided by the forest. We also need to look at wetlands. Wetlands have been an area which have been neglected so far. Although the common man does understand the issues related to wetlands, but there is no incentive for him also. And the researchers need to find out this relationship between the need, economic need of the common villager and the resuscitation, resuscitation of these wetlands. Wetlands are great sink for atmospheric carbon. So what the research institutes need to do is to focus on finding out ways to use these wetlands not only as vehicles of climate change but also as important vehicles for river rejuvenation, improving the groundwater levels in this uh, country as well as improving the lot of those poor villagers who will be worst affected by climate change because of reduction in agricultural production and uh, because of the natural disasters because poor gets poorer because of these disasters. Similarly, we also need to focus on biodiversity conservation because we have seen that because of climate change, uh, the insect populations which have very short lifespans and very short life cycles, they are getting affected in a big way. And that is where the research needs to focus as to what to do so that these insects do not suffer this kind of problem. A damage to insect population is also resulting into problems of uh, less cross-pollination, not enough seeding, which is again impacting the agricultural production. So I hope and I look forward that this particular uh, conference or workshop or summit, whichever name you want to call it, is going to give us a way forward to address these issues. Thank you.